In a shocking turn of events, King Charles has delivered a resounding blow to Meghan Markle and Prince Harry by firmly rejecting their audacious plea to participate in the esteemed Day Day commemorations and trooping the color ceremonies. The royal couple's insolent attempt to infiltrate these hallowed traditions has been met with unwavering disdain and unequivocal denial by the monarch, leaving many to speculate on the motives behind this decisive snub. Meghan Markle, the duchess whose polarizing presence has long been a contentious topic of discussion, now finds herself at the center of yet another divisive saga. Her relentless pursuit of royal recognition and participation in sacred ceremonies has been met with a resounding rebuff from King Charles, who has made it abundantly clear that her involvement in these time-honored events is neither desired nor tolerated within the royal fold. The brazen attempt by Meghan Markle and Prince Harry to insinuate themselves into the day-day commemorations and trooping the color festivities has sparked a maelstrom of controversy and debate, with opinions divided and tensions running high. The Duchess's perceived arrogance and entitlement have once again come under scrutiny, as critics deride her blatant disregard for tradition and protocol in her quest for royal validation. As speculation mounts regarding the true motivations behind Meghan Markle's relentless pursuit of royal recognition, whispers of ulterior motives and self-serving agendas swirl through the corridors of power. The Duchess's penchant for seeking the spotlight and asserting her presence in spheres where she is unwelcome has only served to deepen the animosity directed towards her, painting a portrait of a woman driven by ambition and conceit, heedless of the consequences of her actions. The clash between Meghan Markle's aspirations and the established norms of royal protocol has ignited a fierce debate among royal watchers and critics alike. Her brazen attempt to circumvent tradition and secure a place in ceremonies reserved for those with a legitimate claim to the throne has been met with scorn and derision by those who view her actions as nothing short of an affront to the sanctity of royal heritage and lineage. King Charles's steadfast refusal to entertain Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's impudent appeal has solidified his reputation as a monarch resolute in upholding the time-honored customs and traditions of the royal family. His unwavering stance against the Duchess's attempts to infiltrate the inner sanctum of royal affairs has garnered praise from those who value the integrity and solemnity of royal ceremonies, while eliciting ire from Meghan Markle's fervent supporters, who see her exclusion as a grievous injustice. As the royal saga unfolds, with Meghan Markle and Prince Harry relegated to the fringes of royal life, the divide between tradition and modernity, privilege and pretension, grows ever wider. The Duchess's relentless pursuit of acceptance and validation within the royal hierarchy has only served to deepen the chasm between her and the staunch upholders of royal protocol, casting her as a disruptive force intent on subverting the established order for her own gain. In the hallowed halls of Buckingham Palace, where whispers of betrayal and ambition reverberate through the centuries-old walls, Meghan Markle's tumultuous journey through the tumult of royal life continues, tumultuous journey through the tumult of royal life continues, does she stubbornly persist in her quest for acceptance, or will she learn to embrace her place on the periphery of royal affairs? A poignant reminder of the consequences of arrogance and ambition in a world steeped in tradition. And hierarchy.